Check this out. friends and welcome back to another fossil hunting episode today I'm here next to this beautiful waterfall and no I'm not in some sort of tropical region I'm here near the city of Lisbon this is not a very well known waterfall and the last days it rains a lot in here so this creek is full of water and produces this amazing shot but that is not the purpose that brings me here well I came here because this place around here, let me show you to you guys, was home to a limestone industry, as you can see in the ground. There are remains, uh, limestone and marble, sorry, marble industry. And there are remains over here uh, of that industry. And this area also is well known for having some limestone formations that in Portuguese we call lapias. I don't know how to call it in, in English but today I will investigate if there is some fossils around here whoa I have to be careful because this whole thing around here is very slippery whoa and it's uh, so my friends I came a little bit closer to this waterfall but it's impossible to be here there's a lot of moist in the air and looks like I am in the Tarzan movie or something like that so I better go search for fossils rather than staying here despite the fact that this is a beautiful landscape so let's get going so my friends the waterfall was down there so this are private property around here we have this little fence in here so we have to try our luck down below in that valley to see if we can find something cool so let's go this is a pretty nice spot that we have here and this is just a simple reminder that uh, some, sometimes um, I came along to see if I can find fossils and normally I found something but there are a couple of times that I cannot found anything so keep in mind that the, the hike uh, itself has a value for your health and you can take some beautiful pictures so this this is just uh, for you guys that that said oh I I wish I could find some fossils but in my area there aren't any uh, there always something cool for you to see and being the nature is something truly truly for me it's truly amazing so let's get going um, but this is truly an amazing place and what is this something black is in here oh my god in the middle of the night this would freak me out well if you pass through this creek it almost looks like there's something someone in black over here <laughs> okay i don't know why this is here oh i know why this is here in here so the the folks that um, that live in the village uh, near this place have a tradition in halloween they they put some some um some tricks along this track and in the middle of the night there are a couple of volunteers that passes through this track and there are a bunch of guys making uh, scares and some fake spider webs and maybe that's a bit of the of the props that they left behind so <laughs> this could be very funny pass passing through here in the middle of the night keep in mind there are no lights at all so this is an ancient uh, water mill that is in here but that is not the purpose of my visit here let's see if we can find some fossils 
today. <laughs> I have to show you this guys. This little house around here has hair. <laughs> Take a good look. It's growing on the roof. Pretty cool. Well, this little house over here is uh, part of an abandoned picnic uh, picnic place. Uh, they put some some pallet over here to prevent people going there and I see a well in there so maybe I don't know if I should investigate this a little bit better but if they put some sort of stuff in here it's to prevent people from passing through so guys I was passing in this road uh, in here that passes near the, the river and I looked to this side over here and there is some exposed bedrock over there one of these days I tried to reach that exposed bedrock but the grass was so high in in this uh, in this field over here grass and and some sort of bush that that stings you and I wasn't able to go all the way up in there and I think there's a good probability that there is something interesting over there but this time I'm going to do this a uh, bit different so I will go first down this road and then I will pass through the top of the hill and then I will climb down I believe it's going to be better than try to to go directly crossing this field because I already know that is a difficult job so let's get going here I am uh, I changed my location a little bit because uh, I was uh, pretty ambitious uh, I was uh, looking to go to that ridge over there but it was it was very difficult so I changed the hill and I came to this place over here next to this power line to see what else can I found in here and this this bush over here was cut and I already saw something that I think it's pretty neat check this out whoa it almost looks like a beehive oh my god it's pretty pretty amazing whoa it's it's a large chunk of coral very large it's a bit broken on the other side well but i'm not going i'm not going to take this one with me it's too oh but it's so cool check these patterns well I have some of them that have a nice pattern but this one this one it's still it's a shame that oh it has a little bit of a of a, a thorn oh my god it's not thorn someone on the internet correct me and this is not a thorn of a sea urchin that's a spine of a sea urchin so I'm always learning if you guys Say, uh, saw me uh, do, doing something unusual or okay there's nothing more attached to this okay I guess I'm going to stash this one over here in order to to retrieve it a different time so but it's so neat oh my god it's so neat it almost looks like a book stand check this out oh very very nice nice indeed okay this is a very good place to search so let's see if we can find some more stuff in here hey hey friends check this rock that is in the ditch it has something in there that looks like a serpentine see I guess it's some sort of coral or sponge but pretty large and I'm not going to even try to remove that so okay someone is calling me sorry guys <laughs> I guess I'm in the in the coral reef again check this out hoo -hoo. I guess this this over here might be a sponge probably mm, there are a few bumps over here
probably is a sponge, I guess. And this one is a coral. Check this out. Ho oh, oh. ho. Here comes the biker. <laughs> We are here at the hill and still here the baker arrive at that little village to bring the the bread, the warm bread at home. Oh my god, this is a nice coral. Okay. And we have another one in here. Oh, <laughs> there is another piece over there also. Oh my god, corals everywhere. <laughs> there is another piece in here. Okay, nice. Corals everywhere. What is that over there? Oh, it has some signs or something. Oh my god, this one is a beauty. Check this out. Ho oh, ho ho. A water drop in here, and you can see that honey a pattern any uh, any bee pattern in here now let me step this aside check this out oh my god and there is something also in here and this is more calcite or quartz i believe it's calcite and oh, there is calcite everywhere check this check this out there is calcite in here so this is a pretty massive stone Oh, there is quartz in here also. This one, <laughs> I am not able to, to remove this one from here. It's a large stone of coral. Oh, my God. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. I have to take some pictures in here. Check this out. These lines are very, very good. Oh, and this part over here, it almost looks like it forms some sort of... Oh, mineralization. And this continues all the way over and it's oh check this out the the coral has transformed into calcite see this part over here broke and you can clearly see below that it's transformed into calcite i believe it if this rock was cut it would be magnificent so but <laughs> this must weigh about 50 kilograms or so so i'm not going to even to try to to take that one with me but it's pretty cool so we have lots and lots of corals around here so I will see if I can bring some home with me but the ones that I can carry <laughs> nice nice <laughs> friends I can seem to get tired of this check this out this rock it says tons of these spines of sea urchin attached to it there is something in here that I don't want that I don't recognize what it is more spines a lot of them clustered all in here ho 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 and no signs of the central piece what let me check what can be in here well I don't know what is in, in the bottom of this rock but I'm not sure if I'm going to to turn it to the other side but I just want to show you the 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 richness of this place it's packed with this type of fossils very very cool indeed So my friends, here we are back at my place. I washed some of the fossils that I bring along with me. Um, I didn't uh, wash them all, just these ones that are in here. Uh, I'm going to do this a little bit more quickly than usual because I, I catch a cold and my throat hurts a lot. So I just want to see to show you guys this this uh, this other one that I found, which is pretty massive and uh, I don't know if it's coincidence or not 
uh, the base is already cut so it could uh, be nicely be something that you can put on the shelf uh, just I need just to clean it a little bit more but um, as you can see the this pattern now really has gained a new definition because you can really see the pattern and there is another thing that I think is pretty neat the fossil itself it it has this this coral it has coral or sponge I don't know very well the difference but I know that this is a pattern because this one is a little bit round and it has this this pointy bit over here I don't know if it is attached to the to the ground of or if it was like that if it grows like upward upwards like that so i know that this this is a pattern because i already i don't i don't know if you, i'm going to put this in the in the video but this one that i have in here also has that distinctive characteristic that have this this tiny stuff sticking out i don't know if it grows like that or if it grows upwards in this in this case this one is a bit more different than the other one. I don't know if the camera is going to catch the detail. It doesn't have that that uh, that pattern that the other one has. This one is almost looks like something that is melted. But definitely, uh, this is was part of the reef. That's for sure. Well, this one you, you saw me on the movie uh, picking up all picking up out of the ground. I wash it just a little bit to clean out the dirt and as you can see all of these bits around here are uh, I guess they replaced by some calcite I don't know if it's quartz but it still has that that um, that glass look I think it's pretty neat the other side it's not so neat but this other one over here it's very cool this uh, was just a piece of horn coral that I found so you already saw this in the movie I don't know if I'm going to put this in the movie because uh, I run out I run into a little bit of trouble with my camera because uh, every time I put my cell phone next to the camera uh, the videos that I did uh, were a bit strange because the sound you can hear the, the, the humming sound of the, the communications of the, the Wi-Fi of the, the cell phone. So next time I really need to put my phone uh, a little bit more far from my, my camera. So this is, was another, another piece of coral. This one is pretty neat because it has this hollow bit. So, and I was uh, cleaning, it, cleaning it now and I was seeing that there was something in there. I don't know if it was a gastropod or other kind of organism so I think it's pretty neat still so today was the coral day <laughs> uh, but as you can see this one has that that appearance over here of, of uh, something that melted over in here and on this side it has that pattern that that honeycomb pattern Ah, now I remember the word sometimes when I'm shooting the videos my my vocabulary in English <laughs> tends to to disappear and now I remember the words that's a bit strange okay uh, guys for today that's about it I hope you liked the video don't forget to like and subscribe and if you want you can follow me on Facebook just uh, search for the Jurassic the icon is the same on on the YouTube so we'll see you on the next movie. Bye.